This is Module 1, Lesson 10. In this lesson, we'll be using place value understanding to round multi-digit numbers using real-world applications. Let's start by looking at the number 935,292. And we're going to round it to different place values. So let's start by rounding it to the 100,000 place value. It, it could either stay at 900,000 or round up to 100,000, which would be a million. Visualizing what the midpoint would be, 935,000 is less than 950,000. So we would round to 900,000 rather than rounding up. Now let's look at the same number, but this time we're going to round to the 10,000's place value. So the 9,000, the 900,000 stays the same. We look at the 10,000's. The 10,000's can stay at 3,000, 3 ten thousands, or round up to 4 ten thousands. So it would be 930,000 versus 940,000. 935,000 would be the midpoint. This is a little larger than that. So therefore, we would, we would round up to 940,000. Same number again, but this time we're going to round to the thousands place. <clears throat> so the 100,000 and the 10,000 stay the same. We're going to look at the 5. So we could leave it at 5,000 or round up to 6,000. The 292 tells me it's closer to 5,000, so we'll leave it at 5,000. So all of these are valid estimates for our original number, but they vary depending on which place value we're rounding to. So we might ask ourselves, how do we determine what's the best estimate to use? So let's consider the problem that in 2012, there were 935,292 visitors to the White House. So that's the number we just looked at. Now, we want to make sure that every visitor to the White House gets a map. So we want to decide which place value do we want to round to? Well, as we just looked at, if we round to the hundred thousands place, we would get 900,000 as our estimate. But given the actual number that we have here, an estimate of 900,000 is going to mean that we don't have enough maps because this estimate would be lower than our actual value. If we go to the 10,000s place, we got 9,940,000. ,940, that would mean that we're close to the number of visitors, but a little bit over, so everybody would get a map. So this would be a preferable estimate to rounding to 100,000, because being short 35,000 maps would cause a problem. So this would be, given what we want, the estimate for, this would be a better estimate to make sure we had 940,000 maps. Let's look at another problem. There are 2,837 students who attend in Lincoln Elementary School. And we want to know how many chairs do we need. So first, of course, we want to have enough chairs because we don't want any students not to have a chair. But at the same time, chairs are expensive, a lot more expensive than maps. So we don't want too many extras. We don't we want to worry about that. We don't want too many extras. So we have to ask, what would be the best 
estimate. Well, let's look at some options. We could round to the, the thousands place. And so between 2,000 and 3,000, this would round to 3,000. So this would give us enough chairs, but we'd be ordering quite a few extras that are gonna cost a lot of money. Let's see what happens when we round to 100, the hundreds place. So the 2,000 would stay the same, and the 800 could either stay at 800 or round up to 900, but it's closer to 800, so that would be our estimate. And that's close, but we still have 37 kids who wouldn't have a place to sit. Now if we round to the tens place, the 2,000 and the 800 would stay the same. We're looking at the tens place, and 37 is closer to 40 than it is to 30, so we'd round to 40. And we see that with this estimate, we'd have enough chairs for everybody, and we'd only have three extra. So we'd meet our criteria of having enough chairs for everybody, and we wouldn't have too many extras. We'd only have like three extras. So the best estimate for the purpose that we want the estimation for would be this last one. So in deciding what estimates we want to use, we have to consider what the purpose is. So let's do some pro problem sets, some questions in our problem set. So for number one, we're taking the number 543,982, and we're rounding to three different place values. So pause the video and try A, B, and C. Rounding to the nearest thousand, the hundred thousand stays the same, the ten thousand stays the same. The three could either stay at three or round up to four. When I look at the rest of the number, I see that 3,982 is much closer to 4,000 than it is to than it is to 3,000. So I'm going to round to 544,000. Now rounding to the 10,000s place, the 100,000 stays the same. The 4 can stay as a 4 or round up to 5, but I th see that 43,000 is closer to 40,000 than to 50,000, so we're going to round to 40,000. <clears> and finally, the 100,000s place, the 5 can stay as 100,000 or round up to 6, but the 50 the 43,000 means that it's less than the midpoint of 550,000, so we're going to leave it at 500,000. Okay, going on to number two, we have numbers and different place values that we're rounding to. So A through C, we're rounding to the nearest hundreds. So pause the video and do A, B, and C. So for all these, we're rounding to the nearest hundreds. So the 2,000 stays the same. The 8 can stay at 8 or go to 9, but it's closer to, it's less than 850, so we're going to leave it at 8. <coughs> for B, again, we have 800. And 851 is a little over by one over the midpoint, so we're going to round up to 32,900. And for C, we have again 800, but 891 is much closer to 900 than to 800, so we're going to do 132,900. For D, E, and F, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So pause the video and try D, E, and F. Okay, for D, we have six. I'm sorry, for D, we have <clears throat> six in the thousands place. So it can either stay as six or round to seven, but it's closer to six. So we're going to do 6,000. 
for e in the thousands place again we have six we look at the rest of the number and we see it would be above the midpoint so we're going to round up to seven and for f the nearest thousand is either zero or one but the 699 tells us we're closer to a hundred to 1,000 than to 0,000, so we're going to round up, and we have 1,100. The next three are 10,000s, so pause the video and try G, H, and I. For G, we have four 10,000s, the other possibility is five 10,000s, but 984 is much closer to 40,000 than to 50,000, so we're going to leave it at 40,000. For H, we have five ten thousands, so our possibility is 50,000 or 60,000, but the 4,984 puts it below the midpoint, so we're going to round down to 50,000. For I, we have nine ten thousands, so we can stay nine thousand, nine thousand, or round up to ten. Given the rest of the number, it's much closer to another thousand and another ten thousand, so we're going to round up to one million. And finally, for J, K, and L, we're rounding to the nearest hundred thousand. So pause the video and try those three. Okay, for J, we have 300,000. We can either leave it at 300,000 or round up to 400,000. The 60,034 tells us we're over the midpoint of 350,000, so we're gonna round up to 400,000. For K, we have 400,000 or it can be 500,000. The 36,709 tells us we're closer to 4,000 because it's below our midpoint. So we're going to round to 400,000. And finally for L, we have 800,000 or we can round up to 900,000. The 52,442 is above the midpoint of 850,000, so we're going to round up to 900,000. So moving on, we're going to look at what we've learned to answer some real world problems. For number three, it says Empire Elementary School needs to purchase water bottles for field day. There are 2,142 students. Principal Badar rounded to the nearest hundred thousand, I mean the nearest hundred to estimate how many water bottles to order. Will there be enough water bottles for everyone? Explain. So pause the video and try that. Okay, if there are 2,142 students and the principal rounded to the nearest hundred, The 100, we could either leave it at 100 or round up to 200, but 142 is less than the midpoint of 150. So if we rounded by the hundreds place, we'd round to 2,100. So there wouldn't be enough water bottles for everyone. So no, there wouldn't be Remember, word problems have to be answered in sentences. <clears throat> okay, moving on to number four. Opening day at the New York State Fair in 20. 12 had an attendance of 46,753 people. Decide which place value to round 
46,753 to if you were writing a newspaper article. Round the number and explain why it's an appropriate unit to round the attendance to. Pause the video and try that one. Now there's not one right answer to this. It sort of depends on what the newspaper writer wanted to show. If the newspaper wa writer wants to show a lot of people were at the state fair, he or she might choose to round up to a higher number. So if we looked at 46,753 and we want to really show that a lot of people went, we might round to the 10,000th place in which case we'd get 50,000, which is actually rounding up, it's more people than were actually there. So you could explain that that's appropriate one, it is accurate, and if the newspaper wants to show a lot of people were there, they might use this one. Again, maybe they want to show something else in their newspaper article where they would want a more accurate estimate. So as long as you explain why you think it's appropriate, there are multiple answers to this question as long as you can support it with your explanation. And the last question, uh, a jet airplane holds about 65,000 gallons of gas. It uses 7,460 gallons when flying between New York City and Los Angeles. Round each number to the largest place value, then find out about how many trips the plane can take between the cities before running out of fuel. So pause the video and try that one. Okay, so the airplane holds 65,000 gallons of gas and it says to round to the largest place value, so that would be the 10,000. So if we round to the nearest 10,000, we would round either, we'd either be 60,000 or round up to 70,000. So because it's on the midpoint, we're going to round up to 70,000. And then it takes 7,460 gallons of gas to fly between New York and Los Angeles. So again, the largest place value in this number is the thousands place. So if we look at the thousands place, it can either be 7,000 or 8,000. 7,460 7, is closer to 7,000. So if the airplane holds 70,000 gallons of gas, and each trip takes about 7,000 miles. Then we can see that the pilot can take about 10 trips, since 7,000 times 10 would be 70,000. So the pilot can fly about 10 trips. And that's the end of lesson 10.